Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the UK and I'm so happy you've chosen to join me for this very quick how-to video. I was stamping um, the other day with my Blushing Bride Stampin' Up! classic ink pad and noticed that I'm not quite getting the vibrancy of colour that I want and that basically means that the ink pad is running out of ink so it's time to re-ink. Now all of our Stamping Up ink pads have a coordinating re-inker available um, along with other coordinating products. So my suggestion is while you buy the ink pad grab the re-inker at the same time. These cost £3.25 and your ink pads are £6 so as a bundle if you buy them together you're spending £9.25 on ink that's going to last you a really really long time because these bottles are massive and we use reinkers for mu much, much more than just reinking our ink pads. So to reink, you will need your ink pad, your reinker, and one of two tools. Now, this is one of those really cheap and nasty, really plasticky bone folders from I want to say a big high street store. I'm sure, you all know which one I'm talking about. Um, and it's really cheap, really plastic. It came in a set um, of several different shaped ones and it doesn't weigh anything. It's not good for folding paper with. The other thing I do also have is a plastic spoon. Um, and you use exactly those, both the tools for exactly the same thing and it's just personal preference. As you can see, I tend to use the bone folder, the cheap nasty plastic one, not our nice stamping up hard heavy ones. Although if you're, you know, you could. Just I just choose to use a cheap plastic one. So we're going to open our ink pad. If you're struggling with opening your ink pads, you will see there's three dots on the front of the ink pad. If you put your thumb, um, the kind of knuckle of your thumb there and push, it will pop the ink pad up and you can flip it straight over. Now this ink pad doesn't look too bad. Sometimes you can see that they're really dry because there's a kind of paler patch in the middle but it doesn't look like that this one but I'm going to open that ink pad lay it flat take my reinker unscrew the, the top and we're going to gently squeeze we're not going to squeeze too hard because we don't want too much ink to fall out and we're just going to zigzag that ink both ways across our ink pad now you can see where it's soaking in and you can add more ink to those areas as you can see I ink more this side of my ink pad than I do the other. So once you've got a good amount of ink on there, and you can see it because it's a completely different colour from the rest of it, you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to drag your bone folder one way and then the other. And then you turn it around and do exactly the same to spread that ink out. As you can see, I've got very little ink now either on my bone folder or sitting on the top of my ink pad. I'm just going to brush it that way as well. You can see, I can see how juicy that ink pad now is because it's now gone a little bit shiny. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up. So that is how to re-ink your ink pad. Now, if you're going to use your spoon, you would do exactly the same thing. You were just going to run your spoon across your ink pad to spread that ink out. This one's a little bit flexible, but it is a tes Tesco value um, spoon but you can see how much ink is I mean the, there is ink coming off on that spoon but it's not massive um look at that lovely brushing bride color so that is how to ink re-ink your ink pads thank you ever so much for joining me for this super quick um stamping up how to video here on a saturday on stamping by hannah as always anything you have seen except these nasty nasty horrible um bone folders can't anything you've seen on this channel you can purchase from my online store the link is in the down bar below as always or you can find it via my blog stampingbyhannah.co.uk don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you again next time thanks for watching bye for now